Today, we are saying goodbye to all my memories. <laughs> There's a lot of memories on that trailer. I don't know if you're gonna be able to move it. We made it to the scrapyard. Time to get rid of my stuff. Just like that, and they're all gone. Step number one is completed. Now we have to move on to step number two. Clean up the rest of it. Oh, good boy. He's a boy. Good boy, I can't really reach it. Come here. There you go. Come here. So I have Jake helping me today, which is really nice. He's really great help. We just had some food. Now we're going to tackle the lawnscape portion of this project. Now, luckily for me, Jake does have some lawnscaping experience, I guess you can say. Give her some juice. Here's my old racing mower. It's got a 23 horse V-twin engine. It's got an old school transaxle. I got my hands on this thing. After I was done screwing with the gear ratio and the horsepower, I got this thing up to 57 miles an hour and it was still pulling on the road. With what I know now, I could get this thing going way faster. So that's where we're gonna keep it. I have a sweet spot in my heart for it. <laughs> Just like I have a sweet spot in my heart for Jake. Oh, yeah. Jake's the man, Jake helps me out. I appreciate it, Jake. With a nice paint job, it looks brand new. Some people probably like the patina of the old look though. It's, it's pretty classy. My brother helped me clean up the backyard so it's all set. Looks way better. Looks fantastic. There are a few of you that might not know what's going on. And I'm sure the people that do know what's going on want to know more because, come on, we got the city involved, we got the court system involved. No good, it's no, no good. So you guys know I like to be a mess maker. I mean, did you see my bench over there? I like to make messes. Well, maybe I don't like to make messes, but I do like to have fun. And everybody knows when you go four wheeling, when you go dirt biking, when you go mud bogging, you get dirty, you have fun. Sometimes you just wanna skip the cleaning part and you just wanna move back to having fun again. You get that, right? So I think it's just human nature that everybody just wants to have fun. Why do we go to work? So that we make money, so that we can go spend it in the way we want to. Why? Because we want to have fun. Now if you mix that with me not wanting to waste anything, so I hold on to my stuff that I used to have fun with to hopefully have fun in the future, well then you get messes. Now unfortunately there are some people that live miserable lives. I understand sometimes, you know, life gets in the way, something bad has happened, and instead of moving on, you take it out on other people. Now, me, myself, I'm not one of those people. If you're doing well, I'll congratulate you. I'll support you, because after all, you put in the time and effort to get to where you are. Why should I try to pull you down? I do know that I had a mess in my backyard, so I had to go to the scrapyard, I had to do this. Luckily, I have some amazing friends and some amazing family, so Cole and Jake helped me clean out the backyard. Now, I don't know when they're gonna come and check it and, and get their approval or if I have to pay any fines, but I will tell you something. If I have to pay any fines, let's just say uh, I'm prepared for that. This is fine money. I hope it doesn't come down to that. I hope I just get their approval. Now, I'm not trying to be a dick. I mean, there are hundreds of you that met me in person. You know that I'm a positive person. My friends and family know I'm a positive person. But when you go ahead and tell me how to be a positive person, surprisingly enough, I become less positive. You waste my time, I waste your time. I try to, of course, be the bigger person at first, but uh, when things get a little ridiculous, then you pull out the change drawer and say, here you go, here's your fine money. 
<sighs> I hope you understand this. The town would be so proud of me right now, I'm cleaning up. Such a blast. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to get to them tomorrow. A lot of people told me to pay in pennies. I have, I have change. I don't have pennies, but I have change. I'm not gonna go out and waste my time going to get pennies. Because after all, I'm not here to make people's lives hell. I'll, I'll, I'll make it close. I won't go out of my way to make it hell though. A couple people are also interested in the Duramax. I actually worked on the Duramax a couple days ago. I'll put a couple clips in after this. But that's kind of just the rundown of the whole backyard dirty thing and the, the whole situation. You guys know how my truck's been acting up. Well, I bought this part and I got, I got it in the mail a few days ago. And you know how I wasn't getting full power out of my truck like it would bog out once in a while? Yeah. I bought a part to hopefully fix that. It goes right behind this box back here. I guess that's the glow plug box. Yeah, it's just literally a, a bolt. I think all we need is an 18 millimeter wrench. So. What does it do? Just gives it more power. It doesn't even have anything, it's just a bolt. Yep. That bolt was $37. Are you serious? Yeah. I watched this one YouTube video, these other people are trying to get 60 out of them. You got this? I get it, that's crazy. Baby, please. This $37 part is supposed to fix my truck. Believe it or not, this part actually comes with good instructions. I've never gotten a part that came with good instructions, so I'm going to take advantage of these instructions. This truck has two posts. This one's just to run my siren and my light bar. It is a diesel stroke, so it's got two batteries. Duramax diesel stroke. Unfortunately for me and the Duramax, I have to let this sit for a little bit because I just left Jake's house. Jake unfortunately has to do some math and some college work. This should be his last day or tomorrow's his last day. I told him he should focus more on that than, than my truck, so he did that, I took off. And that's why my engine's hot and that's why I should give it a second before I kill myself. Diesels. Here's the new part, here's the old part. I guess these parts don't seat correctly, this top moves. So this one will be removed, this one will be put in place of that one. Unfortunately the new one doesn't come with an O-ring so I have to use this one. And due to editing and the lack of me not filming anything, we are done. At least you know the batteries are good. Let's rip it. Let's rip it. Oil pressure looks good. Let's see what happens. First test, success. A couple more to go. I want to push it to its limits. I want to make sure that that problem that I was having is solved. So far so good, the truck is acting like it did when I first purchased it, which I'm really excited about because there are no hesitations, there are no legs. I can go over 2,000 RPMs after acting like a complete I gotta thank Greg and Michael for helping me out. I truly appreciate it. Now that the Duramax is back to kicking and taking names, maybe it's time to take this thing to the drag strip and challenge Street Speed 717. What? Shots fired. We'll see, he's not too far away. But I'm gonna wrap up this 3D Machines production. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed Jake the Toilet Snake. I hope you enjoyed the Duramax.